everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's kim and today i have what i can only assume is february's illuminate book only unboxing i say that because i did not have dispatch so i have no idea what's in this box without further ado let's find out together what's in here so just to go down up and we have voila. okay backing and we have oh okay we have a card on the top again it's the second time we've had a card on the top this is good so this is oh okay it's a letter from the reader that's beautiful artwork on there I do like that okay uh oh okay um it's not in the usual illuminate little baggie instead in plastic so we can see what the book is without even opening her up I would like that little suspense just a little bit longer. Don't know why they stopped the little baggie, but okay. So the February book only boxing book is... Oh, that's pretty. It is Song of Silver Flame Like Night by Amelia Wenzel. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm terribly sorry. Look at that artwork. That's beautiful. Okay, it goes fine. Oh, I do like those colours. And the real. We have solid blue on the top. Oh, solid pink on the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh. That is stunning. Wow. Okay. That's beautiful. <sighs> Open her up. Oh, we have end papers with a signature on there. There we go. The rear end papers, the same. And we have dust jacket, nothing on the reverse. Oh, that's a pretty hard cover. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful hardcover. Spine and the rear. That's beautiful. Okay. Oh, there's an Illumicrate exclusive chapter. Oh, so including the exclusive chapter, we are 464 pages. Okay. Oh. That's a map. Oh, that's a beautiful map. Okay, let's put it back in the dust jacket there. Whoops. Have author picture there of Emily. And let's find out what this one's about. Okay. In a fallen kingdom, one girl carries the key to discovering the secrets of her nation's past and unleashing the demons that sleep at its heart. Once, Lan had a different name. Now she goes by the one the Atlantean colonizers gave her. She spends her days scavenging for remnants of the past, for anything that might help her understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother in the last act before she died. No one can see the mysterious mark until the night Zen appears at the tea house and saves her life. Zen is a practitioner, one of the fabled magicians of the last kingdom whose abilities were rumoured to be drawn from the demons they communed with. Magic believed to be long lost, magic to be hidden at all costs. Both Lan and Zen have secrets buried deep within. Fate has connected them, but their destiny remains unwritten. Both hold the power to liberate th the land, and both hold the power to destroy the world. Ooh, okay. Okay. Sounds intriguing. That is a stunning book. 
Let me know what you thought of the customizations. Let me know if you read it and what you thought of it. That is beautiful. As always, down in my description box, you'll find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Twitter, on Instagram, or Goodreads. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you really want to. Want to let me know you're here without actually talking to me? Why not leave a dragon emoji? Until next time, toodles.